All right, in this example, we're going to run some compound interest examples. So here's um, the situation, is we have $25,000 and we want to invest it, and we have three different options, and all are going to earn 6% interest rate. So let's first start with the example with annual, calculating interest compounded annually. All right, so the formula for compounding annually is right here. Okay, well, that's a really bad rectangle. All right, so um, we've got A is our total amount. That's the amount you end up with um, after you have invested it. P is the principal, which is the starting amount. R is the interest rate in decimal form. So for these examples, it's going to be 0 0.06 in decimal form. And time, uh, T is time, usually in years, but not always. And N is the number of times compounded annually. So when we, let's work the annually compounded example first. So we have A equals P times 1 plus R to the T. So I've already got one of these filled in for you here. Let's go ahead and, and work the example for year two. Okay, so A now is 25,000 parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.06, and I'm going to raise that to the second power. And if you do those calculations, you will find that she's going to end up with $28,090. And I'm just going to round it off to the whole dollar here, just for space reasons. But you would typically carry this out to two decimal places. All right, let's do the next one where we're going to compound quarterly, OK? So quarterly, quarterly, there we go, quarterly. Quarterly is four times a year, so four times a year. So the formula for that looks like A equals P times 1 plus R over N, all raised to the N times T power. So let's fill this in. A equals, and then we've got our 25,000 as our P. That's what we invest. 1 plus, well, R is 0 0.06. When I compound quarterly, that's 4. That means N is 4, 4 times a year. And I'm going to raise this to the 4 times 2, because I'm working for the second, uh, the problem with the second year. And don't forget to multiply these things together. Uh, before you raise this to the power of 8. Um, and you can work that on your calculator. And when you do that, you should get 28,162. So before we go any further, I'm just going to write these values in right here, because I'm going to come back and refer to them when we do the next one. So this one was, what, 28,090. So already you can see when you go from compounding one time a year to compounding four times a year, you are earning more money. The more times it is compounded, the more money you will earn. Now let's do an example of compounding continuously, although i got to warn you, this is kind of a goofy example, because uh, this is an example where she's taking her money and investing it to be compounded, and you're not going to find a bank or any investment that's going to compound continuously. But it's a good example to work because that shows you how the formula works. Uh, so we're going to compound continuously, and the formula for that is A equals P times E to the RT. And I sometimes refer to this as the shampoo formula because there's a shampoo called PERT. And that kind of reminds me of this. So sometimes I've been known to say to students who forget the formula, I say, oh, think of the shampoo formula. So let's take a little side note right here and talk about E. And you can do more research on it on your own if you like. But here's the formal definition of E. Uh, we approximate it as 2.71. You will also find a little button on your calculator of E, and that's not to be confused with the big E, which means scientific notation. To the 6 as an example. You will also find another button on the calculator that has uh, x to the E. So 
sometimes that's kind of handy to use too. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and work the example for year two. So A equals, and again, we're investing 25,000, E to the R, and our R's, our interest rate is 0 0.06, and we're investing it for two years, so that's a two. Again, those are multiplied together, so don't forget to multiply those together. Um, Oop, let's go back and fix this mistake here on your calculator. I think the calculator button, I don't have it right in front of me, but I think it's e to the x. There we go. That looks better. So you can use either one of these when you type this in. Um, you can use e and then raise it to the power yourself, or you can use e to the x and then just type in the x, whichever you prefer. And when you calculate this out, you're going to get 28000 $187,000. And I encourage you to actually do these calculations, make sure they match mine, uh, ask me if they don't, and then maybe it's just, uh, it's obviously then just a keystroke that we need to, to fix up here. So you'll notice that when we compound continuously, we even make more money. So the more often you can compound, the greater amount you are going to make. So this is the end of the video on compound interest.